Hello and welcome to the Music Community Podcast. My name is Dan Drumstone and I'm here with co-hosts Random Girl Singing and Doc Bizzle. Uh, this is episode 29 and this is a special episode uh, that we're, we're all kind of really excited about and judging by how today goes, we'll see if we could do this uh, on a monthly basis or on a higher frequency. But the purpose of today is to bring in members of the music community um, and, you know, see what people have to say. We're going to open it up to chat. Um, and, you know, if there's a topic that they'd like to discuss or, you know, a story about something that they've encountered in the music community, that's the whole purpose of this. And we're really excited. It's going to be open to um, viewers and moderators and streamers alike. So anybody in our community that has something to say, we, we want to give the opportunity today for someone to come on and, and share with us what, what's going on. But I'm excited. How about you guys? <laughs> yes. Looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. Dan, you haven't streamed in a long time. How are you doing? I am good. Uh, yeah, it's been a month since I've packed up in California and drove across the country and built this studio and I got everything set up this week to stream and hope tomorrow that's the plan, but it's been a month and I'm both nervous and I feel like I'm starting from scratch again, if that makes sense. I know like we were talking about like if you guys have had breaks, you know, longer breaks, but it feels very weird right now. Like, <laughs> yeah, like I haven't ever streamed before, like setting everything up. Yeah. It's all new and. <laughs> You know, it's a new room, it's a new layout, it's new, like the camera's in a different spot and the screens, like I just feel like, like I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm scared, but I'm excited to share uh, the new stuff, but. Any tips no, that's for awesome. from anybody <laughs> that's been away? Just for do a it, while? Dan. That's always my tip: is just do it. Yeah. I I know how you feel though. When you I I haven't been on in like a week almost, and. Mm -hmm. I notice even in that time, it is a, it is still sort of daunting to push the start stream button again after you haven't pushed it for so long. Yeah, and and I feel like I'm nowhere near where I thought I would be at this time. You know, like a month ago, I'm like, oh, I got all this time. I can do you know promo videos and get all this stuff ready and take pictures. I've done like nothing because just you know stuff happens and you gotta you gotta deal with it, but. We're going to do it anyway, but I'm excited. It'll be They're interesting. going to be happy to see you. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> they will be. People might be like, oh, God, he's back. We were hoping the, the internet wouldn't work in the woods. But um, but yeah. So are you guys good, though? Everything good with you guys? Yeah. 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 I mean, I can't complain. I've been trying to balance adult stuff with uh, with streaming stuff, which is why I've had to make the decision to take some time off because... You know, streaming is one of those things where you you get on. I, I don't like calling it a grind, you know, but you get in the routine mm -hmm. and then it's easy to feel like it's so urgent for you to be like, OK, well, I'll find time eventually to do this or do that. And then before you know it, you're like, wow, streaming takes a long time and that time comes from somewhere. And so I'm playing catch up a little bit right now, but yeah. I'm doing OK. Yeah, good. Cool. Well, I think first up we have Leland. Right. Yeah. Let's let me chat. Bear with us. Okay. Gonna, this is the first time you, we've Leland. ever done it. Okay. Um, are you ready? <laughs> so hopefully it all works. Guys, welcome. Welcome, Leyland. <laughs> Hold on. I have to type. It is Leyland. I can't You're do a the drum roll. Contestant on. Here it is. I got him. My drum, okay. My drums are far away. Or else Here I do we go. I'm roll. adding you, Leyland. <laughs> Yay. Boom. We have a Leyland coming, I think. Hey! Uh-oh, we don't have audio, though. He'll have to go into his settings and make sure that it's that it's coming through. Yeah, guys. It, just like I said, bear with us. And we'll edit this out in the audio thing, so don't worry. But yeah, um, yeah we're just excited. Discord audio sucks sometimes. Like, it's amazing oh, that we can do oh, all this. I hear <gasps> it. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I forgot. I, 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 I turned on push to talk instead of voice activity. So. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a well, yeah. yeah. What's up? What's up, man? Yeah, how are you? What's good, on your good, mind? Good, good. Um, nothing much, actually. 
Um, <laughs> Well, for those well, of, for those of you guys that don't know uh, Leyland, he is a violin streamer here on on Twitch, and uh, he's a huge part of the community. So we're very happy to have him. He here. moderates for like fifty channels. I mean, his I went and sang through his entire channel moderation oh, list the other day. Really? Just to, just to, just <laughs> yeah, to kind of tease she, she him. How many? I was is teasing that? him a little. It was like fifty five or something. It was more than fifty. Remember. It wasn't even just musicians, but it was mostly musicians and some creative streamers and stuff too he is i don't like even think i'm following stuff. that many people leland is everywhere <laughs> leland is eternal leland requires uh, i think two accounts on was it discord or twitch leland on discord on, on discord. discord i actually have two accounts to like what do like look over 170 plus servers or something like that <laughs> and he stays up to date with these folks he's um a very Superhero. giving yeah, very involved, supportive member of the community. And he's managed to grow his own following on Twitch, recently funded his trip to TwitchCon this year, all the way from Malaysia, from music streaming. So you are killing it, Leland. It, it, how, what has it been like for you to go from uh, being that support role to being a broadcaster? It has been actually pretty i would say pretty smooth to be honest because um it helps because you when you have, you have moderated for like a, quite a few channels you get to see like how people how streamers interact with the community and stuff so you can actually like take all together and like try and figure out something that works for you so for me i was like if we started off with like clicking the, the start stream button that was like basically the most important thing that i it and yeah. everything else slowly grew up from there so i think that basically helped i think that's awesome so, yeah well is there anything yeah. you'd like to talk about today dude anything on your mind uh basically like um well do i do i go and ask do i go and suggest suggested a topic that was like what how we can make the music community more noticeable mm -hmm. on twitch yeah so so I would answer to Dwaygon's question uh, is that if you take a look at today's uh, Twitch page or front page right now, you scroll down a bit to the bottom. I'm not sure if you see, everyone sees it, but I see it at least. Um, it says music streamers. I think that a feature of music streamers that you should follow or something like that. Oh. So it has like like four or five channels that they display um, different different uh, channels. The four or five channels that display the live streams. Some of them could be radio channels, but I've looking at one point I've seen like two or three uh, perform performing streams. Yeah, does does Twitch so, still do that for new people to Twitch? Do they still suggest? Uh, I know not, they did that I at one point I, a few months. Back. I, I, at one point, where is you if you create a new account, they give you like suggestions to follow. Mm -hmm. This one's different. This one's on. Whoops, give a sec. Because I remember, do you guys remember that? Like we all were starting to get like crazy amount of like yeah, it was the follow. auto, yeah. it was the mobile apps automatic automatic onboarding that yeah. they were doing. Mm -hmm. Um, they did stop that, but oh. I'm wondering. I have been getting people mentioning that I popped up as a recommended channel for them, hmm. um, mm -hmm. from the front page before, and I didn't know what they meant. So Leland, this might kind of fill in the gaps. I'm wondering if it just recommends yes. only live channels. That, that it usually to... recommends live channels or reruns. If I'm not mistaken, I've actually seen reruns happening, like showing mm -hmm. on that page before as well, on the front It'll, page. What I've, what I've noticed too is that it will recommend channels not just based on um, what they're streaming in, like as far as like a category, it, but if, mm -hmm. let's say, especially now being sort of connected to a lot of people in the music community, if there's a new music streamer that a whole lot of the people that I'm friends with or interact with on Twitch are all following. Like it's actually recommending some of the new streamers and I go and I'm like, Oh, there's 30 people here that I know. No wonder it recommended this channel because mm -hmm. they've got, it looks like they've got a little advanced algorithm stuff happening there for making those recommendations. It's kind of cool. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Sorry. Anything else that's been on your mind? Uh, things you think that Twitch could do to improve? Um, or anything else that's Twitch related that you feel like sharing or bringing up? On the moderation side, yes, um, because I think right now our moderation things are actually pretty much severely lacking. Like, um, I would say that the the two options, timeout or ban, it's like it's it, of, of, obviously if you need you need something like a t third party extension like better Twitch TV or Frankafe Z or FFZ to um, 
to enhance your mod moderation moderation skills moderation um, features so i would definitely suggest to twitch like at least add like at least like a purge com purge um b button at least so I think yeah. that would be helpful so yeah at least i mean that's something that something that yeah I, someone um say. one of my friends on twitter that stream he's a mm -hmm. gamer um he actually mm -hmm. moved to mixer and i i thought it was very admirable um, mm -hmm. he moved to Mixer because of the lack of follow through, I guess, with some of the harassment stuff that takes place on Twitch. Mm -hmm. And he felt yeah. that he's like, I love Twitch. I love the communities on here. I love it, but I can't get behind the lack of, you know, just tolerance for certain things that happen. And I was like, man, that's, I was really impressed by that. Um, mm -hmm. so I think like moderation, you know, from a, a streamer's perspective and is, mm -hmm. is a big deal. But I think I, across the board, you know, I think it, it, mm -hmm. it could all be enhanced, you know, just the, yeah, some of the, the stuff that's said and content. Mm -hmm. I think it could be a little more mm -hmm. enforced, but I thought that was pretty admirable. Um, I'm not really 100 percent sure how well Mixer does it or how different it is, but um I don't know. Oh, they have actually much more clearer guidelines. I actually have mm -hmm. read it before. I actually have streamed a mixer thing once or twice. I forgot already, but oh, wow. I did that once or twice. Um, I think we're, it's really chill. Basically, if you want, if you call someone a cam girl, you'll get automatically banned. Yeah, that's mm. what they said. That's what they said in the in their gui in their rules and guidelines. Yeah. So. So they're a bit more strict on stuff. Yeah, the like reporting that. guidelines. I reported a message that came through to me, or a whisper that came through to me from mm -hmm. somebody who I was under the impression that they were already banned because they had sent threatening messages to one of my moderators mm -hmm. who reported them and said, okay, their account's gone. But then mm -hmm. a couple of days later, I got a whisper from them yeah. saying some really uh, very dirty, sexually suggestive stuff. And when I, mm -hmm. I first I went and reported it as harassment, and then I went back and saw that there's an entirely different reason to select apart from harassment that says sexually graphic, mm -hmm. blah, blah, yeah. blah. And I'm like, how is that different from, okay. <laughs> you know, yeah. So I had to double report it. I don't know if that user's account is still there, but this particular user has yeah. gone through several usernames and it's the same person that keeps coming back and back and back again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's very, it's kind of a bummer that all anybody needs is a VPN and a new account to... Yep get around all that. I don't know if any other live streaming sites or do IP blocks, but even if they did, VPN would probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Part of what I know companies like Mixer are benefiting from right now, the reason they're able to be more responsive with their clear terms of service is because there are less people per employee. There's, there's yeah. just, it's simply easier. You know, <laughs> if you got mm -hmm. 10 employees and, and you got four customers, ordering hamburgers, man, you can get them hamburgers and fries right on out and do it with Ooh. a smile. But if you have 400 customers show up and you've, you've still got 10 to 12 employees, it's like, whoa, 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 you know, it, yeah. it, it goes nuts. It gets a little crazy. And I think that Twitch has had such explosive growth over the last couple of years. That certainly is, I think, at least part of it. I, I would hesitate to say, oh, they just must not care. Uh, certainly they care. But they are having a hard time, I think, keeping up with it for yeah. sure. That's a noticeable thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. enforcing it. No, it's yeah. a it's a cool it's a hot topic um that I think we'll be talking about forever, you know. But well is there isn't there a way though to purge chat? Can't you do aren't mods able to do a clear chat within yeah. Twitter? You got but you are able to clear chat, but the thing is if you are on Beta Twitch TV or Franco Z, it doesn't clear it for you. Oh, you have to be um, on the so official. so they'll say like chat has like the chat uh, all the moderators attempt to clear chat has been ignored or something like that. Yeah. So, ah, gotcha. so okay. So if you have if you have uh, FFZ or uh, BTTV, it's not gonna work. Right on. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Well, is uh as we're as we're chatting, is uh, if anyone else want to queue up for a second? I I've I'd got like to Anne, try to. I've got Anne ready to yeah, bring okay, on. Right on. But Leila, um, I'm, also, I'm very. Oh yeah, go ahead, man. No, 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 that's okay. Yeah, that, that's basically all I wanted to say. No, I was gonna say I'm excited to see you this fall. <laughs> I'm very oh, yes. happy. I that, am excited to see that, you. I'm excited to see you too. Yeah, it's gonna be mm -hmm. awesome. 
awesome. But thanks for yeah. coming on, man. We'll have to have you on yeah, in a more me. official really capacity it. in the future. Because <laughs> I have a lot of questions awesome. for you. <laughs> yeah, we would love to oh, sure, hear. Oh, sure. and by the way, 57 channels. He's a moderator oh, for 57 <laughs> channels. Dude. Leland, you rock, man. You're an all-star. <laughs> well, really quick, is there ever like a, a, a time where you forget that you mod in a channel? Or like, like you uh, go in and you're like, quite oh. A few times that, <laughs> quite a few times, actually. That's awesome. I had quite a few times. I was like, oh, wait, I'm a mod here? Oh, cool. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so, so yeah, it has happened a few times. I mean, when, when I usually realize I'm a mod, it's usually when I raid that person and I was like, oh, I have a mod. Okay, I'm going to spam a few more times. Awesome. Because mods, <laughs> your mods get to bypass the spam, so. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know it's late where you are, man, but thanks for coming on. And get rest. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Sleep. Yeah, I, I'm caffeinated, so so I'm a, I'm gonna be awake for a bit. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Chat, give give Leland a, a huge thank you. That was awesome. See, Leland, man. thanks, thank man. You. Okay, Bye. thank you. Bye. So now, Anne, all right, Anne is up. Now I'm gonna add Anne. It is such a it's such an interesting topic to talk about, you know, like that, the moderation stuff. But it's like trying to get rid of the common cold. You know, like, yeah. is it ever going to not be there? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hold on. I need to mute the actual channel now. Here we go. <laughs> we hear you good. Yeah, you're good to see you. Excellent. Yeah, good to see you as well. <laughs> yeah, so you are a little, you're a little bit of a newer music streamer, right? But you've been supporting the music community for a bit longer than you've been streaming, haven't you? No, I kind of just came in really full force. So I'm like on the complete opposite end of Leaveland here. I've only been streaming barely not even two months. And I only just became a moderator of a different channel for the first time like a week ago. Um, so I'm coming in from a very opposite perspective of of everything that's going on. Nice. That's awesome. Well, real, so what what's on your mind? <coughs> Sorry, Dan. <laughs> Dan, did you want to say something? No, I was just say really quick. What do you do on your channel? Um, I stream. I focus on my original acoustic pop music, but I'm also learning a bunch of covers because nice. that's people love covers. So that's yeah, <laughs> what sure. I. Tra yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Um, yeah. I just wanted to come in and say, well, first of all, thank you to folks like you guys who have just been super supportive and created this really amazing community. I know you all have been here a lot longer. Um, and I think everything that you guys have done has paved the way for people like me who are just kind of coming in. Um, and it sets this really great example for how the rest of us, um, doc, <laughs> uh, it sets a really great example for the way that the rest of us coming in should behave and support each other and support people who then come in after us and just keep passing on the love. If that makes sense. No, um, absolutely. 100%. That's how I felt too. When I started, it was like, um, if you want to open a business, but then someone already like made it for you and you just walk in and yeah. it's like turnkey, you're like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just, I really love what you guys are doing. Um, and as I expected streaming to be really scary, um, and I mostly wanted to come in and encourage anyone else. Like <laughs> if yes. you are afraid of streaming, these guys have made it so easy. Um, and I think that. I come from a background of building online businesses. So I've always been like a blogger, a photographer, a video creator, whether I'm in the video or not. Um, and to just, it's so similar. It's getting started with streaming is so similar. And I don't know if you guys agree, but it really, you're building a business of sorts if you take streaming seriously. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like a fun, it's an entertainment business. And to come in and see how you guys have all created your really fun brands, how you guys interact with and treat the people on your streams, um, it's, it's quite, it's quite spectacular Aww. and I love the, um, it's simultaneously professional and fun. I think, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to be asking no. a question. No, I just no. wanted to I think, highlight. I think that's a great, like something a, that, something that you brought up, uh, you know, you do treat it like a business. And I think a lot of us that do it at least multiple times a week, I would say streaming, like we take it serious. Like we are having fun. It's hard to like not have fun doing music. Um, yeah. <laughs> and streaming in general. Like I think if you're streaming, like you're not like, oh, this sucks. This is the worst thing in the whole world. Yeah. Like that's <laughs> kind of weird. It's like you go to Disneyland to be mad. Um, but 
like it is it is true you know like thinking of it like a business and taking it serious and um you know wanting to be welcoming to you know people that are coming in just like a business you don't want <laughs> the first person that walks in through your door to your restaurant you don't want to be like oh oh crap we have someone here you know <laughs> like it, it makes total sense uh and i think the music community in general is very welcoming you know yeah it's you know, i think you raised a good point about it being really collaborative versus being competitive it's not like you're the restaurant person who's worried that your patrons um, are going to go to another restaurant. You're like the <laughs> restaurant person who realizes that you offer a certain thing mm -hmm. the best way that you can. And Doc Bizzle offers something different. Um, and it's also very delicious and tasty jams. <laughs> Ooh, delicious. So it does delicious. there. I, I, I think it's really nice. You brought that up and the, it was my predecessor's Set, they set that tone that, you know, it was like just the normal thing when you came into the community, even back in the day, everybody, some of them still do, had like links to other music streamers that they really liked um, or who they think their viewers would like. I know a lot of streamers shout out other ones if some if somebody comes and requests something. Oh, I don't really do a lot of that, but you know who does a great job at that. And so it is this like, you know, boosting kind of a thing like some people might view it competitively and, and maybe in a way, maybe it is, but I, I really see more of a, a collaborative and like encouraging spirit. I take it very competitively. You're all going down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best drummer. <laughs> no, it's like, well, I've, I've said this before. Um, something about music that is just non-competitive. You know, I don't know what it is. Gaming, yes. Anything, you know, where someone's going to be a clear winner, you know, like I won that match or I beat you at this race. Like, yeah, that's competitive because we all want to do that. But it's just like with music, there is no like winning. There's no like end game. Like you're not like, you're never done as a musician. And if you think you are, you're doing it very wrong. Um, even as an artist, you know, like, we're never happy. So like, I think that's one of the things that keeps it non-competitive in, in streaming, but. Always room for growth. Always, always room for, for more. That's what's cool about it. Yeah. yeah. And what, what was the biggest challenge for you to start streaming? Was it getting the technical stuff in line, learning OBS? Was yeah. it the finding time to do it? Like what was the biggest for, for you as a new streamer? If we've got people looking at starting, like what should they be prepared for? Um, so the hardest thing for me with streaming honestly was I didn't get it for a long time. Like I've been sideline interested in streaming, but I mostly only saw either, cause again, I come from this like online business perspective. So most of the streaming I was seeing was on Facebook doing like these educational type webinars, or I was seeing, um, you, know, you know, everyone hears Twitch and thinks gaming for the most part, um, as a status quo. Um, so for a long time, I didn't realize there was like this IRL. I didn't realize there was creative. I didn't realize there was music. Um, so honestly, just um, I felt like I had suddenly discovered this underground universe mm -hmm. of um, just all these really amazing people, all this talent, all these friendly, uh, just people who support everything as well. Like it's not just that there's this creative talent. There's also these really passionate uh, fans. <laughs> There's yeah. people who come in and they want to make it happen because they believe in it so much um, that they're there and they show up and they watch and they support and they cheer you on. And I don't think I believed that that existed outside of like the professional industry mm -hmm. yeah. of music, like sta standard professional music industry. Um, so I can't speak to all the other reasons you might not be streaming, but for me, I didn't realize that it existed, that there was people who wanted to come and believe in me and what I do. Um, and watching, I had a friend who does like IRL streaming and I didn't know what he'd been doing all this time. I just kept seeing him post some random stuff on Twitter and I finally reached out to him. I was like, what do you do actually? <laughs> um, and then through him, he was like, oh, you have to check out streaming again because I think you're going to love it. Um, and then I, I quickly discovered the Twitch music community and all of all of y'all basically. Um, and from there, it was no longer scary because I saw how amazing it was for you, you guys. Mm -hmm. And I saw that how people would rally behind what you were all doing. Like you were just saying, everyone has their own unique thing they bring to the table. Um, and you get these people who are just so passionate about that. And so I was no longer afraid. I'm a bit techie, so OBS and all that stuff. I had actually already installed it a long time ago 
when I was first trying to figure out what streaming actually was from a technical perspective. Um, so that came pretty quickly. I was also nervous about the equipment because it's really expensive. Um, so I started out with like my little tiny. Wait, you didn't steal? Like, you just you didn't steal yours? <laughs> right. I just knocked on the neighbor's house. Can I have this? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, no. But yeah, already in the first, over the, this last, um, now almost two months, uh, just from donations and cheers and stuff, I've already been able to, I paid for some of it out of pocket, but by now it's been covered. That's what and, like, I that's love. just It's I'm... so wild to me because I invested in myself to invest in others mm -hmm. in that way, and then they invested back in me, and I think that's really incredible mm -hmm. that I can just kind of walk in here. I felt like I just walked in, and then yeah. suddenly everyone was like, we love you. Yeah. And it was so overwhelming and so powerful. And just, I just encourage, like, you have to step out of your comfort zone a little because I was so, I was so terrified. I would show up and not just that no one would notice because I expected no one would notice. Yeah. <laughs> but I was afraid people w weren't going to like me. Yeah. Um, and I think that's a natural human fear. But I think streaming has really made me more confident in what I'm doing and made me believe more in my own work. Yeah. That's I was, cool. I was talking with someone just this week, actually, uh, from the gaming side of Twitch, where, you know, we, we've talked before about like a, a new music streamer, you just get welcomed right away and it's, you get followers. We're very lucky, you yeah. know, like, like yeah. the path to even yeah. affiliate is like a day, you know? Um, yeah. <laughs> but what, what kind of we were talking about and now just this, it's like, we're, we're like a town, right? Um, and you, you use the word investment and when, I've just from when I've been streaming and I see people upgrading their gear and upgrading their setups and stuff like we're like investing in like our town, right? It's like we're yeah. getting new roads. It's like we're painting the doors, you know, we're making sure that people who can't eat, eat, you know, like we're taking care of each other, but we're yeah. also making our town, you know, better and it's growing. There's more people and that's, it is, it is a really cool feeling to see just from a view, you know, to see the viewers support and 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 make that town super special i don't know yeah, yeah. i do want to say though that like i get very protective of my town <laughs> i love <laughs> yes. new, i love newcomers yeah i love people who are new to my town but i like when they do what ann here did and go and see who else is doing the types of things she's interested in doing and becoming acquainted with the town folk mm-hmm um, because there are sometimes, um, you know, we'll get a new musician that joins the discord server and anybody, but immediately it's just like, okay, where do I go self promote now? Yeah. Yeah. And that's very, very backwards. You, you don't want to be the solicitor to the town. You yeah. want to be, the, <laughs> you want to be a neighbor yeah. and where a can friend. I get the, the money town. in the <laughs> That's I, I did see some chatter among some of the streamers earlier where they were saying like the thing, the, but the key to success really in coming in as a newcomer is to make sure that you're becoming acquainted with people that yeah. you like invest some time into, you know, quote networking, but but which is really just hanging out and meeting people and meeting friends and making a few genuine connections. And if you do invest more time into that up front then once you do hit go live, you are probably going to have some people who are really interested to come see you. Mm -hmm. If But if you never knew that the community existed and you just go live, that's not to say you're an intruder or anything. I'm just saying that I noticed that if you do integrate first as a friend of the community and then start streaming, it happen it, you tend to get off a little better. You get a better start. It's a lot about attitude. Like, what can I bring to the table rather than I came yeah. here and you guys owe me your attention. Yeah. And I yes. think That's it's very, idea. it's just very important to come in and know that you're anything that anyone does for you is absolutely, you cannot expect any of that. Yeah. It's very important to come in with the humble, I'm here to learn. I'm here for the experience. I'm going to support as much as I can as well. Otherwise, all you're doing is coming in and being like, where's the bank? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, well, Annie, where can people find you really quick before? Um, I mean, it's uh, my username is, you know, my, my channel. It's just and and Dorco and right. pretty much no one else is named and Dorco. So you can find me anywhere <laughs> by searching for my name. <laughs> cool. That's awesome. 
Well, thank you for coming on. It's, it was awesome to have you. And that's, that's honestly, I love hearing stories like that. Like yeah, people that, that come in and, and feel welcome. And I don't know, it is, it's so, oh, it is such a good community. It's so, it's, so, we're so lucky. Like, you know, like we take it for granted sometimes just how awesome we have it. You know, when you go into another community on Twitch, you're just like, oh my God, what is Oh happening? yeah. Or I have a friend who's been gaming for like a month on Twitch and she just got affiliate, mm -hmm. you know, but she's been gaming, grinding, yeah. you know, to get those viewership, to get affiliate. I noticed because of the support in our community, people are almost guaranteed affiliate if they show up and have a little bit of a network already. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. Well, awesome, Annie. Thank you. Who do we who do we have queued up next? I have okay. got We the Good Vibes up next. Ooh, I don't know who this is. Okay. <gasps> well, add them. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna okay. need. I'm gonna need some some intros here. This is awesome. I could like do this all day, but we won't because we all have to go to the bathroom and stuff. <laughs> this is like the feeling I had at TwitchCon and the reason like I wanted to do this podcast is I left TwitchCon just going like, I want to know everything about everybody that I just met. And, and I don't know. I love this kind of stuff. I think it's really cool. It's nice to hear the different experiences for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It looks like we might be having some connection issues. Boom, um, boom, if boom, there's some boom. problems, we might troubleshoot and, uh, bring Allie on for a little bit while we troubleshoot again. Heck, if any, yes. if anybody was interested in coming on to this, uh, please go ahead and add me or Doc Bizzle as a friend if you have not already. Uh, my username is Random Girl Singing Number One Nine One Four, um, and then we can DM and I can bring you in on this conversation. Hi, buddy. Looks like we're having some connection issues. Oh, there we are. I had to restart Discord. <laughs> uh, Hello. 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 Hey, nice to meet you, man. Thanks for hopping on. What's on your mind? What's on my mind? I don't know. What's on your mind? Uh, town hall. Just, just <laughs> town hall. Yeah, yeah. We're looking for questions, comments, thoughts about the music community from uh, viewers, mods, and streamers. So, no, so what's, yeah, what's you've been mind? one of my supporters, but you're also a streamer. I aren't you? You've been. Have you started yeah. doing music streaming now already? I just haven't had a chance to. Yeah, I, I, I dabble with a little bit of everything. So, a lot of, uh, a lot of, I do a lot of uh, vocal beat looping, uh, beatboxing. Cool. And. Uh, dabbling in other set electronic type things but yeah come from a music family so it's always it's always fun to get get back in the music wave awesome uh, it's nice yeah. to meet. i liked all your uh your metaphors it's a town <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty, right on. pretty solid right on um yeah uh i would say what well, one question I have is where where do you where do you see what's your vision for the future of the music community on Twitch? Like, what's the best way it could be working, or is it working that way now? That's it's definitely question. yeah, it's definitely not broken in any way whatsoever. Like, I think out of um, I've said this before, like game categories on Twitch rise and fall, right? Like, yeah they come and go, but music's going to be here forever. So what is being built now is only just going to get stronger um, and, and, and bigger and better. Um, maybe not better. We're all pretty good now. <laughs> but I think the, the attention that uh, the potential for music on Twitch and streaming, what people do is just going to get broader. You know, I think we're going to start to see bigger artists come on here, which is really cool. Um, including groups and acts. Um, I think in a couple years time, uh, the idea of touring, you know, relentlessly town to town, I think a lot of bands are going to go, Hey, we can like set up shop. Um, I'm trying to think, uh, I can't think of their name right now. Ah, uh, there's a band that, that streams, you know, multiple times a week here on Twitch. Uh, I can't think. Palestine. Yes. And they're Palestine. amazing. Yeah. They're amazing. Yeah, they're a wow. pro band. They, they're definitely pro setup and they have, there are like, uh, legitimate music acts and producers that have been on Twitch for a while and are now starting to see Twitch as a fun and thriving place. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. Yeah. their music. And my vision personally for Twitch is that eventually it will be recognized as some place that pe- it won't be something that's so underground that if you mention what you do or where you do it, you're going to get blank sp- stares and you're yeah. going to have to completely explain yourself. And I'm hoping Twitch? that eventually A&R reps, um, other music industry professionals, management agencies, um, potential affiliates, some are already catching on. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm hoping that more of them see these small to medium sized communities as a as a legitimate place to go scout for talent and scout for people to be in partnership with. Because wow. yeah. as the industry changes and shifts, I mean, we're already seeing some interesting news out there about Spotify trying to link directly with artists to like try to bypass like the label. Yeah. You know, that's the label system. I had a independent label message me a couple weeks ago asking how perhaps we could help each other help <laughs> find mutual, you know, how we could mutually benefit each other. So there are people now it's starting to catch on. A couple years ago, it was still like so random that I named my account Random Girl Singing because I didn't realize there were other people that even did it. Yeah. And then I found a few more people doing it. And now we've got hundreds of people doing it. It's, but I think that the support that we need from Twitch's end um, is a little bit more clear about where to categorize content, mm-hmm. and a little bit more, uh, a little bit more supportive in terms of promoting the content. But they are making steps to do that. Yeah, um, for sure. I've already seen that. So, well, Doc, that's you- my person. On it. Yeah, you mentioned like I didn't see the keynote last year at TwitchCon, um, but apparently you mowed over children and grandmas to get to the <laughs> to get in the room. Um, but you know, he said uh, the CEO said, you know, we built the thing and you're you're showing us how to use it. And I think as yeah, a, yeah, we built the platform and you're showing us how to use it. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's, I that's what I think we're doing here in a sense. Like, what could be possible? There- there's been so much growth in the last year that we've all noticed and experienced, not just growth in number of streamers, but growth in in our um, or enhancements maybe of, of the intentionality of the community to work together on things. We've seen that through Saving Music Live. Mm-hmm. We've seen that through um, people like uh, Sam, Tucker, Sam Tucker Young, Raquel Lilly, and Megan Lenius, you know, grouping up together and, and traveling around and doing some things together. We've it's seen awesome. a lot of enhancement in that, that not only we've experienced, but I'm telling you guys, Twitch has absolutely noticed the, the the people of Twitch, the people working at Twitch have noticed and are looking actively continually looking for ways to, okay, they are building this thing. They are doing this thing. How can we enhance that? How can we support it? How can we help it? Um, there are some things just going on, some conversations I've had recently that I'm extremely encouraged by um, mm-hmm. from some, some Twitch staff folks that are, are looking for ways to continue to promote um, Twitch music. So I think the more Twitch recognizes that and then as Stephanie just said, steps in and maybe even gives some clarity from their perspective like, hey, here's maybe what you guys could do to help uh, you know, or, or make things clearer. Um, but also I think even within the community, something that I, I believe we could we could legitimately see if we can continue to work together in another year or two would be to have our own almost like independent label in a sense within the music community where we identify talent, we identify songwriters. We we've got people like, like Dan that has a full blown recording studio. There's several producers here on Twitch that do things and actually pairing some people up, getting some projects recorded, not to take money from the artist, but to say, we all believe in you and what you're doing here. And we all want to help promote it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, push it. I think we could legitimately do that in the next year or two. Mm-hmm. Um, and awesome. it, there's so many different, it's, it is the more that you think about it. I mean, we all say like we need discoverability improvements and stuff, but if you really think about it, we are all so different as music streamers. Let's say you stream League of Legends. That's easy. You stream League of Legends. There's <coughs> no, you know, there's no, <laughs> there's no difference there. But everybody that's streaming in music, it's we're all so different in many different ways. And 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 I get it, like how to categorize it, but like you said, I know that they they have recognized all the 
amazing stuff that has been going on the past couple of years here. And they do, they're not, they're not dummies. They understand growth <laughs> and potential. So yeah, it's encouraging. I mean, yeah. What Twitch could do as a start though, is get that categorization down mm. right now. We can be an IRL. We can be a music. We could be in creative. The guidance yeah. two years ago was go make music in creative. You know, the guidance, the recent guidance is, well, you can technically go in IRL, but, you know, we're just going to look the other way. Um, the Twitch music twi uh, Twitter account doesn't really follow any Twitch musicians. And no. I think that's funny. <laughs> I, and, and I think that that's a start is at least following their partnered streamers who are making music might be that might would that might help us but they're they're following other musicians that are already established in the music industry and even some streamers that don't stream music mm -hmm. those are little things that might go a long way in just helping boost that credibility for musicians that take just live streaming music on the internet seriously mm -hmm. yeah. and don't just do it as a hobby and don't just do it on top of all the other stuff that they do um with music real life but actually making it a place that here we know you use the tool this way and we know you make great content so here's what we want from you and here's how we can help you with it um but i think they're making steps to do it it's just it needs to still kind of get there especially with the categorization mm -hmm. what about you good vibes what, what are some of your thoughts on how the music community could could uh, enhance grow or be better well and i want i want to say that that idea of the independent label is that's an awesome idea and i i'm down to help make that happen because i i have i have the resources to do that as well um awesome. so that that's that's awesome and uh i i see for me my, my goal is to have um not only twitch musicians featured on my channel every week um but also local musicians from different towns so that we can we can pull we can integrate the community that we all live in with the online community around the world yeah. And so that there's a lot of there's a lot of synergy happening, and with that, hopefully we can create like you you said uh, more less of a blank stare when you say Twitch streaming. <laughs> uh, I'm a Twitch. What's what's Twitch? Yeah. Um, but I also see a potential for music education. Oh yeah. Um, that's a cool way to take this. I think. I don't know if you guys do that often, but teaching people is kind of what I'm all about. Like allowing people to expand, um, yeah. holding the space for like growth. And uh, you guys are all obviously very talented musicians. And uh, I, I don't know if you're doing any music education uh, streams, but uh, I, if you aren't, I would love to see that. Yeah, um, I know Dan. One of the things he's kind of known for um, is um, education, not just about drum, like drum playing and drum rhythm, although he'll, he, he'll go in depth a lot of times and talk about different rhythms or different styles of, of playing. Yeah. Um, but even right down to the gear, like I've seen Dan do that kind of thing with his drum gear, talking about the, the drum heads and the, the drums themselves, how to tune them, how to find what note the actual shell is kind of trying to ring out at. And it's it, that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm, I agree. I'm saying this to agree with you. Good vibes. Whenever yeah. I catch Dan doing that, I'm like glued as much yeah. as I love watching him play drums. I'm like listening to everything he's saying. Cause it's, it's so interesting. Yeah. It's, and in our organic, another organic way, I notice when I get new gear and I just unbox it and try to learn how to use it on stream, or try to use a new feature or want to learn about what something is. And I don't know, there's usually very informed people in my chat that want to sort of help me. And then together uh, as a community, we learn because people are learning through me learning, um, which is really cool. But I would also like to say that under some of Twitch's guidelines, tutorials, and demos are technically not allowed. So I'm not sure if there are, I would I would um, want to look into that more. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure would somebody come along and, you know, ban your channel because you're doing a tutorial or something, but that is that was at least in the creative guidelines a couple years ago. Interesting. Said, yeah, there was. I, I, yeah, so it might be something worth talking. Uh, maybe we'll bring up to staff and and ask about, you know, yeah, but yeah, where, I mean, education. I want to. I want to. I know we got some more people, but really quick, man, where could people find you? 
We're going to move uh, on. I, I just want to get to as, as many as you we were can. You were quiet. I, be I couldn't hear you, Dan. <laughs> oh. You, you just cut out. You cut said out. where, and then your mic quit. Oh, where yeah. can people find you on Twitch? Uh, I mean, I, you can click uh, the username in chat. I'll chat right, right about on. now. And uh, we can, you know, we're going to do a little, you know, pineapple, because I'm the pineapple galaxy. Uh <laughs> But yeah, um, I didn't see it come up. There it is. There, there you are. We the good vibes. Thank you so much for popping on and bringing some interesting insight and asking yeah, some interesting you. questions. Awesome. I would love to have each of you on my talk show as well. Yes, <laughs> definitely send us a message and we will yeah. I will I will try to make some time for it and awesome. uh, we'll have to learn more about what you're up to over there. Pineapple <laughs> on pizza. Thanks for your time, man. <laughs> see <Peace>. you later. <laughs> see you, man. Thank you for coming on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add Miss Allie. Let's do it. Who doesn't care for pineapple on pizza? Me neither. It's gross. <laughs> it's gross. She's apologized in advance for highway traffic noise being outside of where she is. That's okay. Last week, there was like a full on construction do zone down here. <laughs> I felt so bad. I edited it all, it all out, but I'm sure Doc and Field Prosser just heard like, <laughs> like the it whole time, hilarious. like nail guns and. Hey, Dwagonama just said something really interesting in chat. He said, speaking about banning, the last 24 hours, multiple people have DCMA banned because of a label actively hunting. So yes, I actually just saw one of my moderators tweet about that. Um, he Who? tweeted a reminder. My moderator, Strict Liability, tweeted about that uh, just today, and I was going to look into it a little bit more, but he, he, is, uh, he practices law himself, and he said... As I've always said, the law and people enforcing it eventually catch up to technology. There are now real-time automated services to file DMCA claims against you slash your channel if you use music or sound samples that aren't your property. Check all your scenes, alerts, and soundboards because Ooh. people have been getting those today. Um, Kitty got Plays them? got one. Mm. I know for sure Kitty Plays got one. Granted, she is um, one of the more successful streamers on Twitch. Um, she's not a music streamer. There's Kitty. Hello. Um, Hi, Allie. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, Allie. <laughs> it's so awesome to see you. How are you? Yeah, I feel like we just need to have a moment to just all say hi. <laughs> Sorry, I Jack. want to bring her a big cup of tea or something. Oh, are you she sick? So cozy. <laughs> no, I'm not sick. I'm oh, just, okay. I'm just chilling in bed. <laughs> right on. I didn't hear about that though. I'll have to, I'll have to check. Yeah, that did out. you hear? Did you read about that, Allie? How people are getting some 24-hour bans and some yeah, DMC um, takedowns? I actually saw it in the um the the partner Discord. People were talking mm. about it about how like um. SoundCloud artists and stuff are are taking people down on their channels and and like a lot of people were like warning other people about it and so SoundCloud. it's just really it's really strange. <laughs> I'm not saying like people on SoundCloud are like super jerky, yeah. but like I don't. I'm. They must be like bigger labels. Now you mean indie musicians or? Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Like, um, I don't, or bigger labels that just have some sort of because what he wrote is there must be some yeah. sort of automatic services yeah. to be able to go yeah. scan um, for that type of content. And Twitch already kind of covers people's butt that if it, it's enough that they recognize that it's copyrighted, they will just mute the bot. Mm -hmm, yeah. But if you have an alert that's something that's copyrighted content you know like um or whatever that might not be enough to trigger it and that could be enough to yeah trigger someone else apparently hmm. bum, bum, bum. <laughs> um, yeah from what what i'm reading in the partner discord is that like there there's like one specific one specific artist's team that is doing a lot of dmcas um i don't i don't know uh much farther than that about what is actually happening but yeah it seems every, like it's a huge issue right now every time it's brought up you know you hear stories and then it's usually different than what's that game where people say something on telephone and like yeah telephone and, and by the end it gets to you different. and you're like what so-and-so is pregnant with a unicorn and you're like <laughs> oh so so uh I'm, we've got one of the people in the chat says that reddit says and i don't know if you guys think reddit is credible but i think reddit is quite credible and to some extent folks are saying that it is interscope records that's hunting oh. um 
So, but I mean, as always, we always knew that this was something that was yeah. not tech. It was kind of sketchy. Uh, we always knew that going into it. A lot of people already don't play copyrighted music on their channel to listen to or to share or whatever. Um, and we don't know who they're really looking af at after if they're going for the the bigger streamers or or what they're doing. But yeah, it must be the actual tracks. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, since it's uh, it's it seems like it's a bigger problem with like uh, gamers who are putting music in their background. Um, I'll do, if it was just music streamers, I don't think it would be brought up in the partner discord, but since it's more, uh, for people actually listening to the tracks, I think that's more what it is. Yeah. 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 So what's on your mind, Allie? Welcome. Welcome, by the way. Hi. <laughs> I'm not going to introduce you. Everyone should know who you are. And if you don't leave, get Kevin, out of you've here. Been, <laughs> haven't no. you been sort of on a little bit of a break or you took yeah. some personal time too? too? Oh, that seems to be yeah. in the air lately. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, we, we moved uh, about a little over a month, about two months ago now, actually. Um, it's hard. And yeah, yeah, it definitely is. And like, for me, like after we moved, like, like it was supposed, it was supposed to be like, I'm, it was supposed to be like my time to be like, okay, this is, this is now, this is what I'm doing. But like, then it kind of turned into like, a. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Why <laughs> right? am I even doing this? Like, like it, 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 like, I don't know. It hit me in the opposite way than I thought it was going to. So it was just like super, a super downer instead of like, I got this. It turned into be like, I, I, what am I? I don't know what I'm doing. Well, <laughs> Sometimes well, you need that time to regroup. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. You've been doing this. I, we've we've had you on um, as a guest. You've been doing this for a long time. It's not, yeah. you know, I, I hear sometimes streamers are like, oh, it's been two months and I'm getting burnt out. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that very much pales in comparison to someone like you who has been doing this like as a career for a long time. Yeah. Um, so, and I'm going to ask you as someone who's kind of going through the same thing, I haven't streamed mm -hmm. in like a month and all mm -hmm. this is new to me. Everything is new right now, even though like I grew up here and I know everybody here, it's in, you know, <laughs> it's like, yeah. this is a completely life changing thing for me. So, um, any pointers or are you, are you feeling better or, or like, how's it, how are you working through um, it or what's helped? <laughs> It's like, okay, I'm just like, right now, I'm, I'm at the point where it's about a month later after my, after my birthday stream. So, like, I, I personally drop, like, almost 80 subs overnight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it's like, it's, it's, like, hard not to be discouraged when you see that kind of drop. Like, any kind of drop is, is discouraging, obviously. But, like, um... Like, just remember that there's like a reason mm -hmm. that there it's not it's not you. It's it's because like, say, a month ago you did you did something special like I had my birthday stream. So it's 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 expected. But um, as far as coming back after a break, just like make sh make sure that you're not, you know, you're not like annoyed with the fact that people aren't there you know you're not annoyed with the fact that your view count is not where it, where it should be um because it's like it's even if you're like making a comeback like some sometimes comeback streams can be really good like um after i was in the hospital and was bedridden for like a month or two and i came back that was probably one of my best streams ever uh -huh. but and but then you also have you know the the comeback streams that aren't necessarily like a comeback stream but like you're coming back from a break but like it's it's a little different because it's not so much i was in the hospital i couldn't do anything yeah. you know um it's it it can it can be discouraging when you don't immediately have those numbers back so mm -hmm. it's like I, I just I just think don't get too discouraged. Like, sure, it's going to be a little frustrating that you have to rebuild a bunch. But um, at the same time, like the the core people that are still there with you are going to be there, yeah. like regardless of anything that that happens. So I'm excited to see those people like you. Yeah. You miss them. You know, like the yeah, the yeah. people that come in 
to your stream daily and you're like, I'm coming. Like, I, I, it sounds weird, but I'm like, I'm trying to like hurry through things just so I could like see people. Yeah. It sounds weird. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, oh God, it's like I've never streamed before. It's, it's just I this also weird notice feeling. that when I take a break, it's really helpful for me to just like, after a while, you do experience a burnout. Like mm -hmm. you might, it is like, yeah, you do have to build up uh, the right state of mind and the right stamina so that you can go live at a certain time or X number of times and feel like playing music. But after an amount of time doing that, sometimes I just stop feeling like streaming or playing music and mm -hmm. I'm just low on inspiration. And that's when I know I have to step back a little bit. And even taking like a couple streams off, it already has me, I'm hearing other songs and I'm like, I kind of want to do that song. And I'm thinking of my mind is able to sort of like do the processing in the background and think about new things that I might want to do to improve the broadcast that I can't do when I'm actively broadcasting. So it's a nice reset period just to get those like creative juices going again. It's always been hard for me to stick to like a quote schedule because I mm -hmm. do need to cycle through those certain types of, you know, thought processes and, and be able to, to free myself up emotionally and mentally to stream or to be creative and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Um, yeah. I'm, but go ahead, Allie. Uh, I, I like I've been struggling so much with trying to even make a schedule because like right now, like I, I literally have a schedule written out, but I, I haven't started it yet because I'm even though I only have two days written like as an off day, I, I just feel like the other five days aren't actually enough. Mm -hmm. Like it's like it's it's one of those like struggles that you're like, well, like, w like I'm only doing this five days a week. Why can't I do more? Why aren't I doing more? is it even possible for me to do more? And it's like, it's like, it's like that my, uh, state of mind that like you constantly, especially in, in Twitch and with streaming, it's like you constantly have to be putting out stuff to gain anything, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. But, and it's like, but at the same time, you're like in the back of your mind, you're like, well, you know, there it's not, it's not that big of a deal, but then you're always like, okay, well, okay, I just dropped, like, 80 subs last night. What, like, what do I need to do? Like, I need to start, you know, getting getting in there, you know? It's, like, <clears throat> it's, like, one of those, like, strange, like, struggles that you, especially when you are your own boss, yeah. it's, like, There's it's, no it's hard. There's no relief yeah. ever. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard uh, to to tell when you're doing enough. And when, when, um, when, when you're not doing or when you are, okay, hold on. What did I just say? <laughs> I think I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's like hard to, it's hard to get that line, yeah. you know, to where you feel like, like content with what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. Like it, it, you, like you want to have that line so that you don't cross it mm -hmm. so that you're going to like completely just like burn yourself out yeah, yeah. you want to keep making good content and you mm -hmm. can't make good content if you're stressed and worried it's almost a chicken meats egg thing because mm -hmm. you need to keep making content to keep growing but you need to keep making quality content which means you need this background time to be creative and you know it, i i find that for me quality over quantity for me i think that i am able to give Self and be adequately juiced up just doing two or three streams a week. If I tried to overextend past that, uh, my streams might not be that great. I might not be into it. I might not be as, I might not have my mind freed up with all the other <laughs> stuff going on to give my best self. So it is a balance. Mm -hmm. It is a balance for sure. One of the things I've realized too is that as much as my core group of, of viewers, friends, love me i believe they love me i think they're their family um there's only so many reruns any of us want to watch and unless i've got brand spanking new content you know three hours worth of brand spanking new content every single day if i do more than three streams in a week and i don't throw a you know a game stream if it's just three of me doing covers again 
I don't want to watch me or listen to me play that stuff. There's other new streamers out there, new content that, you know, like, like I wouldn't want to sit there that much either. So there's also that like, okay, I can stream five days a week, but if I stream this same thing five days a week, you know what? Each time the numbers are going to be a little lower. I may have five streams of 40 viewers instead of three streams of 60 viewers, which one feels better, which one's fresher, and then trying to balance that and make a decision on that. Now, throwing in some game streams here and there and a little IRL stuff, you know, I can do more streams that way. But great day when I do that, those are always, uh, you know, I have like 15 viewers. See, I it's could. also just economics, too. If I streamed five days a week, I don't know if my view count would be that high because people are like, well, she's always on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're like ice cream. <laughs> right? Oh, do you want to have ice cream all day long? Which sounds awesome. Yes. <laughs> but you do need to take a break. I don't know what I'm saying. It's been a long time, guys. No. But you I leave the metaphors to die. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Another. I just said I'm delicious earlier. I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> so, and, and like another issue that. I know I personally have and maybe a uh, few other people have is that like I know I know there was at least one other person that was in the music discord that was mentioning how like um like it they're, they're a variety streamer they their their music streams do awesome but then their other streams kind of pull down like all of their averages mm. which is like one of those like tough things because it's like if you're doing covers constantly your viewers are going to have favorite songs and they're yeah. always going to be requesting those specific songs. Like there's probably, probably, um, a good hundred, 150 on my song list that never get requested because they're there. It's always the same, like, yeah. you know, same other songs, but it's like at the same time, if I'm not streaming music, if I decide to do a game day, if I decide to just do like a stream where I'm just sitting here, it's like the the view count gets cut like by like at least 50 percent. So it's like it's like hard to find like the right balance for, well, this is what gives me what I need to live mm -hmm. or it's like this is what like I personally need to not like freak out about stuff, you know? Right. Yeah. Sure. That's very true. See, I've, I've never gone into anything else streaming wise besides music. And I know like people say like, Oh, we should do some video game stuff. And personally, I think like I get so distract, like I feel so comfortable on my instrument that I'm able to interact with chat and that I, <laughs> can look at alerts and stuff. But if I was playing a video game, I don't know how some of these streamers do it and like still interact, you know, but it's, I know. it's the same thing uh, how some people are like, how can you play and do this? It's like, for me, I've thought about doing it, but I'm like, man, I, I just be like, Oh, crap. I know. Same here. <laughs> like, and, and then I'm you not... see people whose chats are like moving like rap God and they can still pick up <laughs> a comment while they're gaming. I just have so much admiration. I personally, have, I did one one gaming stream in the past six months and I lost seven viewers, lost seven followers by the end of it. <laughs> I don't know if people are like, oh, this is a gaming channel now. <laughs> Thought a side of me they didn't like because I was getting a little aggressive or something, but <laughs> it is, I, I, I doc, you, you mentioned cares? it like those people that, that are just, they're going to love just being with you. And I, I think you got to remember that, uh, at the end of the day, you know, if you, if you're doing something that makes you happy, like playing a game or, you know, Richie, sometimes you do some special streams and they're really fun and the people that are there, you know, stream for them, you know, make sure that they're having a good time and that they're feeling what you're feeling. Um, I think, yeah, you gotta, thing. it's for me, the, the picture of that within building community is, is you've got to pour in and the, and you, you got to pour out, you know what I'm saying? You've got the mm -hmm. outer, like the external, we're doing things to grow wide. Right. Yeah. Um, but there is also that, and, and this is, I, I want to make sure and clarify when I said, you know, if I do a game stream, I'll have 15 viewers. I'm not complaining about having 15 viewers. I'm just saying, I realize that there's a big difference in the number of people that want to mm -hmm. watch that over the music. Yeah. I'm not complaining at all because those 15 viewers or 18 or 20, whoever comes through when I'm doing a game stream are typically people that are, I'm, I'm getting to hang out with them in a completely different way. It's a quality thing. I typically try to play games 
that are also going to be somewhat interactive with the chat, um, whether it's a trivia game or even if I play Fortnite, I'm like, all right, chat, where do you want me to drop on the map? You know, like, yeah. like there's, I try to let that be sort of a, a bonding time. Look at it that way. It's a pouring into the folks that are coming, coming and hanging out and, and pouring into myself to do something different, pouring into myself to say, man, I got to keep my own life fresh. If I don't keep my own life fresh, then by golly, if I do 15 game stream or, or music streams in a row by the 15th one, I'm not going to be singing good. I'm not going to be feeling the songs. I'm going to do an hour stream and then cut the thing short and go home. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I got to do some things even. I got to pour in right with that stuff. And then the pouring out is is the looking at the stats and going, okay, all right, what are, what are people really digging? What can I bring to the table that's going to maybe attract a few more people? What's my best foot? Gaming yeah. is obviously not my best foot. Doing covers and some improv stuff seems to be my best foot. So making sure I do that. There's the business side. Grow it out, pour out, and the pour in. I'll, yeah. I'll hush now. No, it, it makes total sense. Allie, is there is there any other? Because like you, you're kind of like the mom of all of us, sort of. <laughs> you know, like we've all looked to you for guidance and and we all value your opinions and stuff. But anything else like that's that's been on your mind um, or that you'd like to talk I about? I think uh, a lot of people have been have been mentioning it um, where, you know, they can't get any growth uh, because summer is starting. Mm -hmm. um, so I think I think if you, if anyone's experiencing like lower, no lower numbers at at all, uh, just to be aware that it's not just you. Mm -hmm. You're not you're not the only one struggling with that. Um, <laughs> uh, and like, it's, it's, it's normal. It's, it's very normal. You know, at very beginning of summer, all the kids just want to, just want to go out, you know, see their friends, go to the mall, you know, do mm -hmm. go eat pizza somewhere. <laughs> Play with um, the kids. Hooligans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and like and it's like it's also important to know 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 that like there are a lot of you know twitch twitch streamer or twitch twitch viewers that that you know the the age isn't you know a static thing it's not like everyone's 15 year old 15 years old it's it's it you'll have a lot of people that do have kids you'll have a lot of people that are kids and um it's it's and especially like summer also is when teenagers tend to get summer jobs. So it's it's that's true. Just yeah. in, it's important to note that like you're you're not going to be the only one who's not having any growth. Better get um, a job. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So yeah. No, it's true. There's a there's so many reasons that mm -hmm. it can happen that growth can can stall up in the summer. Whether like you touched on the you know the cycle of school, and then if you think about it from parents, you know, like you said, their kids are out of school now. Now they need to parent all summer. Increases my schedule. I don't have as much time to to sit on Twitch. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And then people just wanting to take advantage of holidays. Yeah. And, and enjoy the good weather and not be glued to their computers or glued to Twitch. I find that my viewership is probably a little bit older than other viewership because I have a lot of working professionals in my chat because I, I stream during like business hours and things like that. And, and just from the feedback I've gotten from them that um, I can sort of predict those things. It would be really nice if Twitch could give us some more demographic data. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be so helpful. Yeah. That we, we talked before we started the podcast, but one of the things like with this move, it's a three hour difference, right? So I'm in, especially the past couple of weeks, like I've had more time to kind of relax, not relax, but I put on the, the streams and while I'm doing stuff here and I've been able to watch a lot of streams, a lot of new people that I'm discovering um, but that's, it's kind of invigorating to be in a different time zone and be like, oh, I've never got to see them live. Or, you know, like I'm usually like waking up when they're going offline, you know, so it's, it's neat to catch some mm -hmm. of these Australian streams and some of these Europe streams. And it's just really cool. I don't know. It's, it's exciting. I've, I've got to, I feel like I've got to make some new friends, I think. <laughs> and then again, like <laughs> even during the day, like just. Like I, my work hours are different now. So like, I, I don't know. I just, it's, it's nice to be able to 
to be in more streams than usual. Um, but yeah. in a lurk capacity, I don't know. I'm yeah. enjoying lurking very much so. Because if I start talking, then I get no work done. You know, like, I know. so <laughs> I just put it on. Like not say hi to, I hate when I host yeah. somebody and then they start to talk to me and I feel bad because yeah. I know that if I start chatting, it's just like a whole bunch of people. It's a bad, it's a wonderful problem to have yeah. when people want to say hi to you and be kind to you, but then it's, but you then, know, you feel bad if you can't at everybody and if you can't really, you know, say hi to every single person. So I don't. But then I like just, sometimes just, you can't <laughs> like some, oh man, the, I've been in some streams this week where like you can't not say that was amazing. You know, like I've been yeah. legit so impressed this past week of the stuff that I've seen and heard. It's just like, man, like we are so lucky to just to go, Boop, what's <laughs> like, it's all gold. I know it sounds weird, but it's, you, I forget yeah. it at, from time to time, you know, the stuff that we have access to, to watch. Let me say on, on behalf of, of all streamers to all viewers, <laughs> Okay. If you happen to see another, if you're, let's say you're watching streamer Bob and streamer, streamer Dan, streamer Dan comes in and says, Bob, that was amazing. And you notice that you, along with 20 other people said, Hey, streamer Dan, what's up? Please don't be offended. If streamer Dan says, hi, everybody. Or something like that. I'm just, I'm just trying to get, get help you guys not be quite easily offended yeah. if streamer Dan doesn't say, "Hi, Rich and Steve and Annie and Susan and blah blah blah." <laughs> I try to do that sometimes. I'm like, "Hey, so and so. Hey, so and so. Hey, so and so." And sometimes it's just difficult. So be sure you don't get too easily offended. Yeah. If if it's someone who you know, look in the chat. If like 20 people just said hi to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Just be cool about it. Be like, hey, he said hi, everybody. He included me. I'm important. Like, just, yeah, I don't know. If I can just put that out there. Yeah. It's and then, like, you you also have, like, the times when one person says hi to you, and then that's what, like, after you say hi back to them, that's what starts the chain reaction. Yeah, and then, hi. yeah, and then that's, that's when you're like, oh, yeah, hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're all trying to be good about it and be caring and you are important to us. It it makes my day when people say hi to me when they see me in chat. It makes me smile from here to here. I read every single one of them. Sometimes I can't respond to everyone individually. So, yeah, it has give been, a little grace. It's been really fun just to watch, you know, some streams and not have to because my family's not here yet. They get here Monday. So I've had a lot of I've. That my kitchen looks like like just like the most bachelor Dan version that you could imagine. But I've been, you know, it's it's been really nice. You guys have all kept me company to some capacity for the past couple of weeks. So thank you. There's like two things that I wish as a broadcaster I could get across to viewers and have them understand that I really mean it. Okay. And these are the two things, okay. The first, hold on, if I can remember both of them. The first thing is that if you no longer can afford to subscribe or just haven't subscribed anymore, I still want you to come hang out with me. Yeah, I don't want not having a sub badge to keep people from feeling like they're part of the family. I'm not going to look at you and be like, well, where did it go? I, yeah. I'm, I'm going to look at you and be like, yay, I'm so happy that they're <laughs> still showing up. That, yeah. That's and the like. Yeah. Also, the thing the thing with that is that like if you do show up and you just randomly just not have a sub badge, there's still a chance that someone in the chat is going to be like, oh, hey, like, I'll just yeah. gift you a sub now, you know, yeah. like I had that happen so many times yesterday because like a couple people came in and was just like, oh, man, my sub yeah. ran out. And it's like. It's it's not that that big of a deal at no, all. No, <laughs> it's not. We still want active chatters. We still want involved people. We still want to know that we're running a community that helps people, a place where people like to go, whether or not they have some picture next to their name or they're paying for it. That's super important. The second thing I would l wish that I could get across is that if I ever miss a question or a compliment or something that somebody brought up in the chat. It's always an accident. It's because I'm not good at reading a lot. I'm bad <laughs> at it. I'm bad at reading a lot. And sometimes <laughs> up here and go away. And half yeah. the time, if I'm actively playing music, I will pause for a minute and look at what's right in front of me. 
if it happened to go away out of i ain't scrolling back honey we got to keep this thing moving so that's the other thing that i just wish i could get across because sometimes i might clip on a vod or see a clip somebody made and see that this poor guy over here <laughs> adding me saying some real nice stuff or asking me what kind of mic i used or something that they didn't get information from out of the panels or a command and i am very sorry I, as a broadcaster, wish I could respond to every single comment. I cannot, but you are appreciated <laughs> nonetheless. I still yeah. love you. I'm sorry. Don't be offended. See, <laughs> please. See, see, I only talk to people with the Twitch Prime badge by their name. Oh, so my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's lying. I'm lying. <laughs> yeah. um, no, it's, it's awesome. Um, do we... Allie, I, do we have anyone else that wants to come on? We're going on. on you know who does want to come on is Where's Where's Hats. Um, I'm going to send him a little <laughs> message. He he also has some construction going on around yes. his house. He said it's an awkward setup, but he if you guys don't know Where's Hats, he is a moderator and a supporter of many um, creative and music communities around. And um, he recently streamed for the first time, oh, nice. which was really cool. It was awesome to like to see him. And, and that stream was lit, man. He you could tell he's made a lot of friends on Twitch because his first stream, he had like 35, 40 people the whole time, basically, nice. you know, um, but and yeah, we're going to have Where's Hats on. And again, if anybody wants to guest uh, quickly, we're going to have to wrap this up. But yeah, <laughs> send send a message. We'll see if we can get you in, if it's a quick comment or a question. Yeah. And, and Ali, I just want to say it's really awesome to see you. And we love you a ton. Thank you for, because we, <laughs> you know, um, Annie mentioned, you know, how stuff was set up you know how she just felt like she just walked into like a furnished apartment or something mm -hmm. and that's because of like what you did in the very beginning what you guys the early adopters <laughs> did so thank you everyone give a million hearts to ally please <laughs> so, so love yeah. you ally thanks for yeah, coming thank on hanging you. out with us love you guys too Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting me pop in. Sorry, I took up so much time. No. Oh, great. <laughs> awesome. We would give you more, but. <laughs> okay, I will see you guys later. Bye. 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 Music community uh, folks, you, you may be interested, or I don't know. You, you may not give a rip because I don't know. You might not. But, but I always think it's cool when music streamers are able to get together. And in a couple of weeks, I am, uh, I'm actually going to be up north and on my way back, I'm going to be stopping by and hanging out with Richie and Lieutenant Chicken. So I'm oh, really looking forward. Oh, very cool. We'll do, we'll do a, little, a little collab uh, on awesome. the Monday, the Monday after the 4th of July. So I think that's the 8th, July 8th, something like that, 8th or 9th. Nice. Um, so I'm going to be swinging through there. So you guys will have to be sure to hang out with us. Very Who's cool. this fine gentleman? Who is this fine gentleman? Hi, Hats. Uh oh, oh no we, audio. Need, we need audio from you. A microphone. We had another person. They accidentally had push to talk. Uh, Leland had an issue with push to talk. Otherwise, you might just have to go in the settings and, and select the, the options or change the sensitivity. Because sometimes people have to do that. You know, it, like doing all this, like I said, it, it all feels like I've never done it before. And it something about it, like just something new. It is very like there was like a year where I didn't touch like microphone stuff with stream. Right. Because I set it up and I'm like, it works. It's good. It's, but now I don't know. It's 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 crazy to like have to get back into that and figure it all out again. I don't know. Rewire everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, cable so, management. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Cables are the worstest. <gasps> Elvie's here. There's some awesome uh, people here right now. There are some awesome people Guys, here. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope I hope it's working out to where, you know, this is the first time we've ever done this. Um, but we we want to like really include as many people in this as we can. That was like the whole point of it from the beginning, but it's hard to do um a lot every week with just a few hours so we're gonna try to do this i don't know if if, if it goes good maybe once a month or more because we still want to do the guest thing like and really highlight us uh a special guest each week because there's some amazing people on here but 
I'm really digging this. Let us know what you guys think. If you know any suggestions about how to streamline it, or I don't know, but it's really great to hear from all these amazing people. If you need to um, exit the app and re-enter the app, you can try to do that too. I know that we had another uh, user that needed to do that. Oh, I did see. Out. Yeah, I did see um, a mute thing pop up over his screen at one point it was like a microphone with a mute over it Mm -hmm. mute hi wax (laughs) (laughs) i want to like shout out like all the awesome people in here wax is in here lv brian all these great music streamers let's just do a little we'll do a little improv can one of y'all rap Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's wonderful. You can just add that to any sentence yeah. and it makes you sound more legit. Yeah. That's pretty much what Pharrell does. Every, he's, he's just Pharrell. got he's, Yeah, yeah. He's Yeah, Pharrell. yeah. Like, wow. <laughs> I remember him doing a he was he was the the hype man. I forget which which award show it was, but but legit, and he's very talented, dudes. Pharrell was nothing but respect for the guy, what, huge what, producer, what, right? What? But in the but in the in the live show in the performance for whoever it was he was with, that was like his part was just going yeah Pro. every once in a while, and then when I saw somebody I saw somebody post on social media how lit Pharrell's performance was with whoever this guy, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, like what are you talking about? His performance was nothing. He stood in the back with, yeah, like that. Like anybody could do that. I'm, um, I'm, I'm switching careers. I'm gonna become a hype man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, do we have Hold a backup on. person? Just while while he figures that out, we'll get him on here. Or do we have anyone else? I'm trying to tag screen? him and make sure that he can find the right place to accept the call. Oh, I'm going to re- I'm going to remove him and add him again to the group yeah. and see okay. if that works. Um we really want to try to get it to work. Yeah, heck yeah. Okay, I just tried to add him again. Let's hope let's Pray hope this to the works. Discord gods. Test no, nothing. No. Dang it. I have your volume up all the way. I All I can think is if you go into your settings, um, you might need to make sure that... Discord under the, has access to the microphone? Yeah, that you can... It, it's his phone and that your input sensitivity is turned probably all the way down so that there's more yellow, I think, is what you have to do. Yeah, I know I've had issues with the input sensitivity before. Yeah, buddy, Timberland is. <laughs> you have Check not. Check the output for sure. Nobody's ever heard a Justin Timberlake song without Timbaland in it. He's in like every song. Going like. Nope, still no volume. I'm so sorry this isn't working out. Oh. And I can't, none of us can do sign language or read lips, so. <laughs> <laughs> we know what that means, though. Well, when we get, when we yeah, do this okay. again, when, or later on if we get yeah. it figured out, is that okay? I'm so sorry. But listen, Hats, go ahead and, and type type something, though, in, in chat, yeah. either in, in Twitch or in the Discord chat, so we can at least... You know what I'm saying? Give you, give you, yeah. give you a question or some comments we could talk about with you. You will get priority yeah. for the next one for sure. So sorry. Yeah. You want to wave bye to everybody? He's saying this phone sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he was saying this phone sucks. Is that what he was? Oh man. Aww. I know Discord can be tricky, and in certain internet browsers, it doesn't work as well as others, and. Well, yeah, I've definitely had issues with that before. Do we have one more? We'll do one more. Um, I didn't have any other guests queued up. Uh, nobody has sent me a friend request or a DM to to try to get on here really quick. I got one from CJ Rich. Can I check just real quick? Yeah, go ahead and yeah, check. Okay. He did not me- or he or she did not message me. So yeah, let me see. Let me. It said connected to voice. Said, oh man. Aww. 
Yes. Let's see. CJ may not be around. That was earlier earlier in the broadcast when uh, he sent me the. Bum, bum, bum. Maybe if, not. Yeah. If you guys, anyone in chat want to hop on? One last, we got yeah. 10, 15 minutes. If you want to come on, share a story or any thoughts about anything. There's some good people in chat that I would love to hear from. <laughs> Honestly, we understand I'm not going to call anybody out, shown. but I see you. <laughs> We're not going to call you out for being good people. Yeah. Of course not. Of course, I'll only talk to you if you have the Twitch Prime sub. So, <laughs> or the Twitch icon sub. What What is it? Twitch Prime? So, if you have that badge, then we I'm can talk. <laughs> Starling said, if we do this again, she'd yes. love to participate. Yes. We'll definitely do this yeah. again. I think fun. we weren't as prepared, you know, with Dan moving and me kind of having a break and us sort of throwing it together. We didn't have the chance to organize it as well as we would like. I know that if you guys have any ideas how to make it better, please share them. One idea I have is to maybe even have some suggested topics Yeah. Um, that we chat about or to field suggestions for topics that we address and then people can jump on um, or just have people submit you know, topics that they'd like to talk about so that ahead of time we can kind of do a little reading or like because some of the stuff that came up, I know I would have loved to be able to look at the the guidelines, Twitch guidelines yeah. and certain other things beforehand. Um, so I wasn't just speculating or whatever, but. Yeah, no, for sure, guys. Well, we'll do this again. I promise. Well, <clears throat> I think like once a month or maybe even I don't know, We'll 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 figure it out if it's. If it's going to be fun, the more the the merrier. Um, because, like I said, this is a, a podcast based around the community, and it was started to get to know streamers even more, you know, um, and find out their stories and talk about topics with them. Um, but it, in my opinion, it's it's reached for me. I just started it with the idea of wanting wanting to know more about streamers but now i want to know more about the viewers that i see in like 20 different channels and i want to know about the mods that help out like i want to know everything and it, it sounds crazy but um if this could be like a chance you know if you have something to say that would be awesome to have you on um but how about um how about we close it off for the day because i don't want to go too long um but seriously though it was it was really fun. Let us know um, what you guys think um, about it. You can send us messages or hit us up on Twitter, or whatever. But um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it was a pretty great uh, ep episode. I thought that it um, people brought up a lot of things that make the community that we've built really unique and really positive place. Mm -hmm. We talked about Twitch as a whole. We talked about a few current events. Um, like one person in the chat just brought up, did we talk about the DMCA takedown stuff going around? We did address that, that that was something that we'd been noticing happening to some partners, um, actually playing the, um, copyrighted, audio recordings mm -hmm. uh, the original recordings not uh to our knowledge music streamers covering songs has not been impacted i i think we we managed to talk about quite a lot um, yeah yeah well it's it's stuff that you know maybe we might not be thinking of you know so the more things that get brought up and and talk about it's just going to make the community stronger and bigger and better and i don't know it's awesome so yeah. we'll say we'll, I'm we'll say goodbye to the audio listeners. Um and yeah, we'll see you next week. But bye. Bye. bye.